often look to items to give us an upper hand against whatever we'll face in video games, but the truth is items can be a saving grace or an utter waste. So to shed light on the items that don't deserve your time, here's our list of the most useless items in video games. Even though gamers spend hours collecting these types of items, it shouldn't be a surprise that they're on our list. Of course, I'm talking about cosmetic items. A popular feature in most games, cosmetic items are essentially costumes or skins that allow gamers to customize their characters in different ways. They don't offer any benefits, but hey, at least they look good, sometimes. At first glance, some items appear to have a purpose, but you quickly learn otherwise. Like in the case of the power sneakers from Sonic the Hedgehog. They have the ability to make the iconic speedster even more speedy, and that seems like a good idea. However, when you wear them, Sonic becomes completely uncontrollable. Collecting coins, dodging spikes, or even moving in the right direction feels impossible. Sometimes it's just better to obey the speed limit. It's not uncommon for video games to show off a character's ability to down a pint of liquid courage. But when you're focused on completing a game, what purpose does it serve? You look like someone who can hold their liquor. How about a friendly contest with a staff? Alcoholic beverages in-game mimics real-life symptoms like blurry vision and makes it harder to control your character. Plus, your character's health can also be affected too but I guess it's a small price to pay to cope with the stress of, oh, I don't know, maybe the fate of the freaking world resting on your shoulders? <laughs> the items in the Super Smash Bros. franchise have been a definitive element of the game. They serve the purpose of giving players an advantage, except for Goldeen. When released from its Pokeball, the water-type Pokemon will flop around on the stage until it disappears or falls off. That's literally all it does. It doesn't cause any damage or pose an obstacle for your opponent. What's worse is Goldeen has been an OG since the first game in the series and still is useless, so don't expect much from this Pokemon. The Mario franchise has a large library of recognizable items, and among them is one that tops our list, the Poison Mushroom. First appearing in Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, the Poison Mushroom is a purple version of the iconic red and white mushroom. However, this darker rendition has the opposite effect, in that it powers down Mario by shrinking or instantly killing him. This is one mushroom you want to avoid.